as well. Okay, so now come to this particular folder. Now what we are trying to do is installation of Java and Eclipse to kickstart your projects and then learnings. Now what you need to do, you need to go to your required folders because we need to download Java uh, from the Oracle and you need to register yourself and you need to download it. The latest version Java is like a 14 and the 15th version you'll be getting it. But as of now, so for our practicing and the learnings, we will be using Java 1.8. So now what you need to do is you need to come to this particular folder. So into this particular folder, I'll be giving this particular path. So in this particular path, you, you have intense repo, required software, uh, and then in the required softwares, you need to come for Eclipse Java required versions. So here we will be using Java uh, 1.8 and then Eclipse uh, uh, to 2020.06. This is a version which we have been used it. So now just you need to download these two things into your machine. So simple. So just you need to do it, the click the download and uh, this you can click it into the download. So both things would be downloaded into your machine. So now, as soon as that was uh, in, in the, uh, stored into your, means downloaded into the machine, so you can see that particular exe. So if you double click this one, so it's do a regular installation and then the Java would be installed. So now here you need to remember one pointer, you're trying to install JDK and it is 1.8231 version. Okay, so now you shouldn't install Eclipse first because without Java, Eclipse will not be installed. So first you need to install J, means the Java. Once the Java is installed, then you can see the Eclipse. Then, you, then only you need to install the Eclipse. Before installation of this particular Eclipse, so now as soon as you downloaded it, right? See now you can go to your downloads and just you can click on this one it will try to start doing your regular installations. So now you'll, you need to click this, uh, yes, next, 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 if you have been clicked it. So it will go and then it will install in your uh, machine. So it's already as it is installed in my machine. It, uh, so that's the reason it was not trying to install. So now once it has been installed, you need to test something. So whether the Java is installed properly or not. So just you need to go to the CMD prompt and click here. And here what you need to type is Java. J A V A and then hyphen. So you need to keep version. As soon as you have been clicked here, as I told you, so Java was success. Once if the Java was installed successfully, you will be having 1.8. What is a version which we have been installed? And now you need to check one more thing immediately. If you type the Java C, means what do you mean by Java C? Means it's a compiler, Java compiler. If you click this one, it will say that unrecognized, uh, 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 unrecognized call. So because so Java C was uh, was not installed properly. Now what you need to do in these particular cases, you need to go to your system, and here uh, you need to search for this, and here come to the uh, here uh, on your this uh, PC properties, and properties. If you are going okay. One second, guys. You need to go for environmental variables. I'll just open this. Just open this and go here, properties, and you will have this window where you will get the complete information of your system. And here you'll have advanced system settings. So click on the advanced system settings and go to the environmental variables. In the environmental variables, you will have user variables and system variables. User variables is nothing but, so for a system, we can have multiple users, means I can use the system, my son can use the system, or my brother can use system. So they'll have different, different users. But system is the common, uh, means whatever the variables which you have been set in the system, so this would be common for all the users. So now, so that's the reason you need to set the Java path. So now where you will be setting the Java path is, so here you will have a, a, a path uh, environmental variable. You need to click that particular path double time. So on this, it will open for you. Now where the Java installed, first you need to see that. So now if you wanted to see where the Java is installed, so first you need to go to the C drive and uh, into the program files and in C program files. Actually, if you have 80, I mean the x86, so not into this, you need to go to this program files, Java and JDK 
and bin. So till here, copy this particular path and come over here and come and uh, paste your Java path over here. If you see here, C program files, Java, JDK, and bin. So I have been already added. So now add that particular path over here, click OK, and then click OK, and then you can cancel this. So now what it will can do is, as soon as you have been done, now close the terminal because every time you need to open this new terminal. So this is a command from new terminal. So now in this particular new terminal, now you can once again check your first version. So uh, what is a version which you have been used? And uh, okay, now you can use uh, Java C. So as soon as you click Java C, once you are able to see this particular all commands, then you can understand that Java was installed properly so once you confirm that java was installed properly <clears throat> then you can go ahead and watch that particular videos which i have been given over here so now in this particular videos so first it will explain about why we are trying to install jdk you will understand and that's the reason first the, the first thing we have been discussed about jdk jre and jvm so now then the, in the basic standard packages so you are you should able to create a particular project and you can type means you can uh, write a small program and then execute like a hello world program and naming conventions packages and all things will be discussed over here and uh, we have been discussed about static and non-static implementation also this so this is very very basic and this is very very important for us to know and kickstart the java so that's the reason so now once after installation of java so you should able to do this uh, these four videos you should able to see it now you installed java but the java, but you need to have an ide right <clears throat> means to write a code for example if i wanted to write something i'll be using my notepad notepad is a tool so where i can write something whatever i wanted to use it the same way to write my java code i should have something to write that right so that is what eclipse so download this particular eclipse eclipse and install that's it this is a normal installation which you need to do it so once you have been done this installation that's it so now java is installed eclipse is installed once eclipse is installed you will have this particular icon and then just open this and follow the videos then it will know how to create a project and how to uh, create the files all things will be explained in the videos so first come here install java then install eclipse so now here if you see here in this particular required software you'll have java and eclipse and then you can use it now here uh, now i'll save this video so that this will be helpful for your further reference and i'll share this one now okay and stop recording now